and welcome to part two of Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. Liar. This I... isn't Starscream. You're right, it's Shockwave. With a bird. Although we are actually going to be playing this Shockwave shortly into this. Shockwave. Which I think he has, yeah. You know, okay. the other wave Decepticon that has no emotion whatsoever. I see. But first, giant insect. Laser beak, you suck. You didn't even bother helping me. I think I got stuck on the wall there. So you Someone said, else uh, next. <laughs> I was going to say, you said there's two campaigns to this game? Technically. It's all one story, but it's split into two campaigns, sort of. I gotcha. I wasn't sure if you, like, play one and then move to the other, or if you, like, edited them together, or... No, it's... The game starts you off on Earth, and then the second chapter, all the way up to, I believe, chapter 7 takes place on Cybertron, then the rest of the game goes back to Earth. Okay. I don't know why they did it like that, but they did. And these so. Insecticons suck. I, I, I'm not even going to be brutally honest. It, it, they just do. And my allies took off without me. Stop yeah, shooting me, you shooting jerks. Is there friendly fire? <laughs> what? Is there friendly fire? No, they don't hurt you one bit. That's good. Yeah. Otherwise, this game would be pretty much unplayable. On top of all the enemy projectiles, which, according to you, one-shot you later on, it's like, if your teammates yeah. one-shot you too, I'd, I'd get pretty frustrated. Yeah. Unfortunately, there is something that your teammates will do that will frustrate you to no end. They can die on you, and the game will kill you for that. What? So you can still be out there kicking ass, but if, uh, if your little friend there dies, then yeah, game over. You can heal them, but if you're not fast enough, they will die, and you will lose that match as a result. Okay, I swear I just heard Steve Bloom. I actually, good good segue, actually, because I have the voice actor list here. Steve Bloom is there. <laughs> huh. Who is he playing? He is... He is Shockwave. Okay, good. And also I Swindle. Him, I, was like, I heard him say Lord Megatron. I was like, that's Sub-Zero. I know that's Sub-Zero. <laughs> he also got Sam Regal, Troy Baker, Greg Berger... A lot of recognizable people. Good. I recognize none of them! That's Sam Regal. <laughs> and also uh, David Boats here, so we got Lexius from Kingdom Hearts and Max from Sam and Max. Huh. Who from Kingdom Hearts? I haven't gotten that far in the games yet. Lexius, uh, uh, Chain of Memories in Cage 2. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a while before I get to that. And then his somebody, Alias, is in some of the later games. Ah. He's in Kingdom Hearts 3, but he doesn't speak. Yeah, he only... his Alias only speaks in uh, Birth by Sleep, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. When, uh... I think Ventus meets him. Oh. I haven't gotten to the Ventus playthrough yet. Well, that's because I'm doing Ventus, I thought. Well, I mean, for myself. Yeah, because oh. yeah, so you're going to need to... Him. Yeah. Because you need I'm to beat all three and find the reports for the final episode. Yeah, I'm not even recording the game yet. I'm just trying to play the game normally to actually get familiar with it. But now we're going to Shockwave, who has the better gun. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Um... When you were talking about the teammate thing, how your teammates can get you a game over if they're killed. Yep. I never thought I would, you know, 
compliment Resident Evil 6 on this, but... Because that game is shit, too, but when you're playing single player, your AI teammate is invincible. They can't die. Oh, thank God. Too bad that also doesn't apply to 5, though. Hmm. Because your teammate can die there, and they'll also eat through... I'll, they'll eat through your ammo if you give them the wrong stuff. So who's ready for three bosses in a row? Well, I mean... Eh. Alright, let's, let's pummel Hardshell. Ugh. After we can have better there we go the and he knocked it out again i don't know what he's knocking out but he's doing it if i didn't know better i'd say he like already got your critical health and like jesus <laughs> you see that health yeah. bar dropping like <laughs> but like crazy. even before that you know <laughs> probably also doesn't help that you're crashing into everything yeah very least hard shells almost dead. Yep. And now he's dead. Let's go get kicked back now. Did I just clip through the floor? Uh yeah, you did. Hmm. That's I'm fine. I'm sure if you flew down you would have absolutely clipped. <laughs> well, we're not gonna find that out, that's nope. for sure. It happened too fast for me to see. <laughs> Where did he go? There he is. Either these spaces are very large, or these transformers are very small. Well, we are on Cybertron. Oh, that would make the sense. The world has to make be big enough for them. I thought we were still on Earth, that's my bad. I wasn't paying attention when you said we're back on Cybertron. <laughs> oh, <laughs> alright. Sharp shot. Sharp shot, where are you going? <laughs> okay, uh, apparently going through that orange liquid can fuck you up. You're going through orange juice. I think it's rust, actually. Liquid rust. Yes. Uh. Want to see me die? <laughs> Alright. Hey, at least I edited. Yeah. How I missed with those missiles that were locked onto him, I will never know. Because he's barely even moving. You must have gotten inspired by my editing from Cuphead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you were about to drop down. <laughs> hey, but I stylized. I would have laughed. He's just standing there and taking it. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it is easy. I think he got right back up and punched me. <laughs> Too late, pal. <laughs> and the other, the other machines just disappear. The power of cutscene compels the. No one messes with Shockwave and his cutscene editing powers. Alright, let's head back to the beam with Soundwave and Starscream. Who we never actually get to play as, thank god. I don't like Starscream, so. Why not? I mean, I know he's like the traitor, but. Eh, he just never rubbed me the right way. I think he's a pretty effective villain. Yeah, I liked him when in what little Transformers stuff I've seen. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, here's a weird tidbit I had when I was a little kid. I thought Starscream in Generation 1 was a freaking girl. That's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was. I think it was the voice. But I thought that was a chick. Is 
they give him a few uh, a high pitched voice and a few things. I think Energon did. Uh, I don't know actually. It, it's been years, so I could be talking yeah. out of my ass. I recently rewatched a couple of clips from Energon, and one of them had Starscream. I don't remember hearing his voice though. We're coming up on a very terrible section for this part of the level. In which we got... Well, we'll find out here in a bit. I won't spoil it. Because hmm. we gotta sit here and wait for Laser Beak. My guess is... Uh, maybe they do actually pull a Destiny and have like a long defense sequence. <laughs> mm, I don't know if I can call it that. Like I said, we'll find out here in a bit. All I can reveal right now, it revolves or involves the other cassette tape that we have access to. For only this one part. Alright. Also, I just remembered that brown liquid was not rust, it's acid. Okay. That makes that more makes sense. sense. Yeah. Oh my god, I just checked the playlist. Some of these parts are half an hour long? Is... Uh... Whoa. Six... Six and nine... Six, nine, and ten. Oh, shit. Well... Ten has the credits, so... So that one's... I usually don't care too much about how long it took. I usually let you guys have a little bit of slack on the credits. Yeah. Then it still came out to like an even number of parts, so it'll be easier yeah. for like scheduling in the future. Yeah. But here is the area that we have to do. We have to have Rumble, Eject, and... I don't know what he's doing, but he's basically draining the acid pool. And we have to do this five times. Ugh. Including the one we're doing right now, so. But as we are waiting for him to do his job, we have to basically stand around and shoot all these Insecticons. So, I was right. This is exactly like a Destiny defense <laughs> Well, the, I don't know that. Oh. Hey, maybe I should go back for frickin' Rumble. Because often, often in Destiny, your little ghost robot companion has to decode something, or he has to open something up, and you have to protect him from enemies while he does that. Also love that he just does not transform into a cassette when he jumps into your chest. Wonderful. Or as a cassette when he jumps out. <laughs> That's just <laughs> lazy right there. No kidding. L Laser Beak came out as a cassette. Of course, he's not doing anything. Okay, no, he is doing something. Alright, get back in my chest. But yeah, that little icon right above our ammo right there. Usually it's showing that shock or sound wave can summon rumble as well as laser beak, but you never can actually use them outside of this one area. So what's the point? <laughs> I don't know. And it just pisses me off because in Fall of Cybertron you can use him. And this is right after Fall of Cybertron. Maybe they planned it in development and cut it? I don't know. That's I don't know. Either. They didn't want to develop it. Could well, he here's the, a the AI little thing. Properly? Uh, Rise of the Dark Spark is basically stealing everything from Fall of Cybertron one to one nearly. Like, there is nothing original here except for it's the Earth levels. So, 
This game is literally the definition of lazy. Because they stole all the assets from High Moon's Fall of Cybertron game. So this level design Including... you went through in that game? Oh, no. Some of the level design had to be changed, but um, basically nearly everything got taken from that game. So I'm pretty sure they had the code in order to have Rumble come out. They just didn't use it. Man, it's like... could be a Wahapa episode? Yeah, there is, actually. Really? Oh. I'll have to check that out later. Yeah, so will I. It's a good watch. Because I just watched the episode on uh, Sleeping Dogs, a game which I actually love. Hmm. I've thought about playing that game. I see it in stores occasionally. It is shockingly good. I'm still waiting on the episode where they do, or where he does Sonic Colors Ultimate. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. Yep. Well, anyways, now we have Insecticons on our side. Insecticons? <laughs> yep. Well, they are insects, and they're now Decepticons, so... However, they're still going to be a pain in the ass for us for the next part. Why, are we switching back to Autobots? No, we're still Decepticons. We're going to be for a while. Oh, boy. Uh, see you guys in part three.